Hello Booktube and welcome to Tag Tuesday. For this Tag Tuesday I'm going to be doing the Effed Up Book Tag. The tag was created by Guilty Feet and I first saw it a few weeks ago on Mark Nash's channel and I saw it this morning on Bookish's channel and I will leave a link to all three down below. Um, so let's get started. Prompt number one. A book that was effed up in a good way. With this, I'm going to go, or for this prompt, prompt I'm going to go with uh, Kings of the Wild by Nicholas Eames. Uh, this, on the sur this novel on the surface is your standard quest narrative. Uh, an old mercenary um, experienced in killing monsters get, gets his band back together in order to rescue his daughter who's herself become a mercenary and is trapped uh, defending a distant city from a horde of monsters. But the thing that makes this book so effed up is that Eames draws a parallel between these mercenary bands and rock bands in our world. So while they are mercenary bands, they're structured, their sort of culture, um, their reception mirror um, America, like um, musical groups. Um, and so one of the things about this book is that a lot of older bands are competing against younger bands and there's this sort of culture clash that makes the narrative a bit more interesting um, as well as all of the well the kitchen sink fantasy elements of it there's every monster you can think of there's mixes of genres it's just completely effed up and it's a wild ride Uh, prompt number two, a book that was effed up in a bad way. For this one, I'm going with Dryland's End by Felice Picano. As I've said it many times before, this is probably the worst science fiction novel I've ever actually finished. Um, it's a space opera that's set centuries, millennia from now in which there's this universal matriarchy um, and men are second-class citizens and their rule is sort of predicated on having children, the ability to have children. And so this rebel AI faction uh, rebels by releasing a plague that sterilizes women and so a plucky band of heroes you know, rebels and agents and all stuff are sent to this planet where um, a scientist has disappeared to and it's revealed that he um, basically found a way to create artificial like rooms so that men can have children and it's just this book is terrible i'm pretty sure though it kind of came to me today that this book might be a parody of your standard science fiction novel from the 70s and 60s and 50s but it's it's just, it's so effed up in such a bad way. Yes. <laughs> uh, if it weren't for the fact that I do not want to inflict that book on somebody else, I would have gotten rid of it a long time ago. But I do not want to inflict that book on anybody else. <laughs> Ever. What was Felice Picano thinking? <laughs> just, uh, of course, it could be one of those things where a writer who really should stick to writing general fiction or literary fiction or 
however you want to define that form of literature and then go slumming and science fiction and fantasy or another genre and really not knowing what they're doing even if they do love the, the genre um, anyway prompt number three a book that everyone loved but that you think is just effed up um, for this one I'm going to go with uh, Circe by Madeline Miller um, I've talked about it several times that I just, I'm not really a fan of her interpretation of Greek mythology. I do think Circe is better done than Achilles. Um, although, I mean, the DC Comics version of Circe is much more interesting. But anyway, but I just, it doesn't really work for me. Um, largely, I mean... Because, again, Circe is just like a 21st century feminist dumped into Greek mythology time period. Um, and everybody else acts like you would think they would act in the period. And Circe just doesn't. She acts like a 21st century human. The um, not entirely fond of... Um, Miller's interpretation of Athena. And I'm constantly wondering, where the hell is Hecate? But anyway. Uh, prompt number four. A sexy F up. I wonder what sexy A F up. Oh, well. Okay. So a sexy F up. For this one, I'm going to go with uh, the Go Go Boy Sonnets by Edmund Miller. So, this is a collection of poetry um, uh, dealing with uh, several go-go boys and dancers and, I guess, the gay club scene in New York um, in the early 2000s. Um, I enjoy, I mean, so it's... I remember the poems being a little, not entirely raunchy, but certainly there's a bit sexy in the, um, sort of the fact that Edmund Miller did this project is a little left up. Um, so it's been a while since I've read it though. I might give it a reread at some point if I have the time. Uh, prompt number five, an F, an F up, F up for kids. For this one, I'm going to go with The Never Ending Story by Michael Enda. Um, although, like Brian said, um, what children's novel, what work of literature for children isn't a little F up. But this one is definitely F up. Um, not necessarily Atreus quest that one is that half of the story is brilliant I think if maybe a little non-threatening but the second half when Bastion uh, himself goes to Fantastica that's when it's sort of like really effed up because he's set up to fail he's really set up to destroy himself and that raises all sorts of effed up questions i think um about the world itself um i think i mentioned in my wrap up with this of whether or not the world itself is sort of uh, fantastic as sort of vampiric or like an angler fish or something like that or if there's actually a like you really don't want to actually have an adventure, really. But anyway, moving on. Uh, prompt number six, inept, inept up classic. Uh, I struggled with this one, um, honestly. But I think I'm going to go with um, Jane Eyre. Um, 
in part, I think, because it's just the whole situation is effed up. Um, the relationship, the situation is just all effed up, I think. Um, although it's been a while since I've read it. I haven't read it in 15 years. But anyway, but I'm going to go with Jane Eyre for this one. Um, prompt number seven. Effed up in translation. Now, with this one, I mean, I could have gone with um, The Never Ending Story since it is originally was written in German and it is a translation. But I'm going to stick with Germany for this um, prompt and I'm going to go with The Rat by Gunther Grass. Um, the Rat is a weird, effed up postmodern fairy tale a post apocalyptic something or other it's just it is completely effed up um, in so many ways um, prompt number eight effed up nonfiction for this one, I'm going to go with Michel Foucault's Discipline and Punish. That book is definitely effed up. It's been forever since I've read it, and thinking about it for this prompt, I kind of want to have another go at him. Um, I remember quite liking Discipline and Punished, even though it is quite effed up in its way. It's generally, I think, has more to do with... Um, Foucault's style. Um, you can also say the same for a lot of um, post-modern, post-structuralist, deconstructionist, and uh, contemporary literary theory. They're quite all left up. But I'm going to go with um, Discipline and Punish. Uh, prompt number nine, an illustrated F, F up. For this one, I'm going to go with um, X1999 by Clamp. Uh, so Clamp is a group of five uh, Japanese mangaka um, who write a, who've created a number of uh, manga series. Uh, most famously, Cardcaptor Sakura. Um, they also did XXX Holic, I think. Although I don't know if you're supposed to, how do you pronounce the three X's? Um, Subasa Reservoir Chronicle, um, X1999, I think Love Drug, and a few others. And their works are usually quite effed up. Um, uh, but in X 1999, it's the story of the end of the world, where a group of superhuman warriors sort of assemble to sort of fight over whether or not the world will be saved or destroyed. And a lot of um, the characters, the main protagonist, um, a lot of his allies, a lot of the villains go through some effed up shit. Um, they lose body parts, um, they self-destruct, it's just, it's completely effed up. And I love it. It's been a while since I've read it, and I would like to have another go at it. Also, one of the biggest effed up things about the series is that it's never, it, it's never completed. Um, I mean, you could probably watch, like, the anime, um... I mean, it wraps it up, but the manga itself has never been um, finished. It's like in perpetual hiatus for like 20 years now. And finally, prompt number 10. Um, Hanya Yanagahara's A Little Effed Up. A book that is just misery porn. Solely designed to convince you how effed up the world is. Obviously, of course, you would want to actually go just go with a little alive because I I've never read it, 
but I've heard terrible things about that book. Um, and it's, even though I'm not really a huge reader of general fiction or literary fiction, uh, but that book, it's just like, I do not want to touch it with a 10 foot, 10 foot pole. But I do have one book that is, I think, matches this. Um, it's just like, it's misery porn. I mean, although generally when you talk about like science fiction and fantasy, and particularly fantasy, I mean, there is a whole genre of fantasy that is basically just this. It is just misery porn. And I'm picking The Mirror Empire by Cameron Hurley, which it's been a while since I've read it, but it is just so, so depressingly effed up. Um, I think there's dismemberment and just totalitarianism and just nobody's particularly good characters. Just it's so effed up. So that was the effed up book tag. Um, if you would like to do the tag, um, consider yourselves tagged and I might be back tomorrow with another tag. Um, we'll see though. So anyway, until tomorrow, thank you BookTube. Have a great afternoon and please stay safe.